Hello guys, welcome to another video. And today I will be playing Rocket Tester. So um I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the game. Let me scoot my mic up a little bit so you can hear me better. Okay, now I'm in the game. My mouse is being a little glitchy right now. Okay, here we go. Go. I'm, like my my mouse isn't glitchy. Oh. Okay, I'll just drive my car. I'll drive my car. So I'm driving my car to the launch pad. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to explain what I'm doing today. I am going to be riding the Saturn V to the moon is what I'm going to be doing. Okay, my car can't even get over this. So I'm going to have to walk. So... I don't I, I, I hate walking. I hate walking. <laughs> then someone has their plane up. Oh, it's a bomber plane. They just shot a bomb at my space center. Oh my. Our space center is at war right now. There's another space. If that plane just dropped a bomb on my space center. Luckily, it wasn't an explosive bomb. This game doesn't have that great of physics. It's mostly a rocket game. Sadly, you can't actually build rockets, which is sad. You can only ride rockets that were already built, like this. This is the Saturn V, which was already built. It was used in the Apollo 11 mission. So. Okay, I'm going to wait till stage one gets drained out. And then I can drop stage one. And then I just gotta wait till the other stage. I just do it over and over again. I wait till one stage gets out, runs out of fuel. Then I drop that stage. And then I wait till the next stage runs out. And it just keeps going on. So when stage two runs out, I'm gonna drop stage two. So I'm just waiting and waiting. And drop stage two. And there's the moon right there. And soon I'm gonna drop stage three. So I'm waiting. Just complete silence. Okay, just drop stage three. Okay. Now we're heading towards the moon. And there's my space lander already there. Wait till that slows down all the way. Okay, there we go. Slow down all the way so now I can get in here without any problem. And land on the moon. I said land on the moon. Got a little delay right there when I press the land on the moon button, which is this. So, um, okay, now we've landed on the moon. We can unfold our rover. Is right there. It just pops out of nowhere. And um, now you can get on the rover. But before we do that, I'm gonna plant my flag. Okay, I planted my flag. Now I can get on the rover and just drive around. I'm only gonna drive around for a certain amount of time because a short amount of time, which is a certain amount of time, I'm probably only gonna drive out around for. Just about 30 seconds. Uh, so, um, I'm driving around, collecting moon samples. You actually do get research points if you look up here. So I'm just going to drive around. Probably drive around on the rocks. Okay, I'll just do a quick, a quick rock sample. So here I got some moon rock samples. Okay, the 30 seconds I think is up now, so now I I can get back on my thingy, and I can turn to, my flag despawned, dang it, I don't want my flag to despawn. Let's sit right there, get back up here. Okay, need to get back in here, and then return to command. 
this might actually become a series, and eventually I'm gonna make a. Is that the starship right there? Is that the SpaceX starship right there? I think that is. That's really cool. I don't know how they got that, but I don't really know. Why is it on the moon, though? The game would have automatically told it to um go take it to Mars, I think. So here we are. Oh, yeah, I'm already in here. Okay, I'm in the seat. I need to get the middle seat. Me in the middle seat. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to return to Earth. Bye-bye. Lander, you can see that just starts to crash down, or, or at least you saw. If you saw, you could probably go into the options and change it to slow motion. So, um, we are falling back down to Earth, and I've landed back on on the Earth. Here I am, back on the earth. So, um, make sure to like and. Oops, what did I just do? I just opened up this. Okay, whatever. So, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!